こんばんはロイネさん元気ですかこのストリームが始まりましたので、私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、ちょっと待ちましょう。私は今、よし。<笑>素敵ですね。Let's see if I can move around with it.Works for Rex. <笑>素敵ですね。あ、きれ。Okay, everyone, welcome to Japanese Quest. Japanese Quest でようこそ。I highlighted a couple things. First, we'll be doing some drawing on the screen today to point out some language. Today, the learning target, you can see here, the day particle. So, we will search for day throughout our adventure in Xenoblade 2. We will also seek to increase our power level. You can see our power level is still rising. Right now, it's 107. 108, we don't know what it will be. We'll look for a word, we'll learn a word. And our power level will go up by one. At least that's the goal here on Japanese Quest to increase our power level and to also learn grammar, which we call language arts. As we learn language arts, we learn new skills that open up new gaming areas in the game and in the real world. Kind of like when you get a hook shot in、uh, Legend of Zelda, you can go to a new island. When you get a new grammar particle, like maybe the day particle in Japanese, you can go to a new area. If you're in Japan, maybe you can't read a sign, maybe you know the day particle, you can read it. So it's kind of like having a new language art that opens up new game areas, just like arts in this game. So let's see. Where were we? Konnichiwa, konbanwa, mina. Game theology, konbanwa, genki desu ka? Sombrero. Sombrero. So come on, Shin. I was thinking more of a straw hat, like Luffy. Mugiwara no Luffy.、Uh, so, the reason we're starting on this screen, I kind of liked something I saw about our location. In the top right, you can see our location, but it's also telling, we, telling us what we are, and it's giving us at least a couple of our vocab words from previous days. We can see this word, ki. Meaning tree. What just happened there? I think I just scrolled down. One second. I can point to this tree. So, this tree here, key, I guess is where we're waiting. And here it says, tabi bito. So, bito, this kanji, meaning person. And the first kanji meaning journey, tabi or trip. So we're all tabi bito. We're going on a tabi together.、Uh, and right now we're stopped at this kind of stopping tree, tomari ki. And so you could say this is a ki right here. Let's draw the kanji there just so we remember. Looks kind of similar, right? You got the upright part, you got some of the branches, you've got some volume in here. That's the kanji for ki. So we're stopped there right now, but we're about to continue and try to find a way to the world tree, an even bigger key. If we saw that here, that'd be way up here with the starting of the kanji. So we're on our way to a very large key. And as we do it, we'll build up nakama together and teach each other Japanese as we go. Yosh, game theology, hi. Boku wa genki desu. Kimi wa genki desu yo. よかった。Glad to hear you're doing well. i g n i o こんばんは。こんばんは。よし、shall we go? So, as we're all Nakama here, you could say everyone who just joined chat over there, or anyone watching too, 
There could be watch. There could be people watching. It's fine if you never chat. Don't need to chat. It's optional. But you might be kind of watching in the distance. You're a party member too. Even if from afar, you you never know. You might jump out at the last moment and help us save us from a scary kanji. And then you see Igneal here. They're part of the party. You can see Igneal, taller than Rex. You can see game theology. Konbanwa. Right here. Roynus has been here before. From Been here from the beginning as far as I recall. So Roynus is up in the tree. He knows what's going on. Yosh. We also have Okamijin who's also been here. Okamijin scouting for us. Out on the weird whale fin out there in the water. In my other game, I actually swam out to this thing, I think. Don't do it. You'll, wait for, you'll waste 15 minutes. There's nothing there. Do not swim there. That's my recommendation. Uh, but Okamijin did. Anyway. Yosh, ishō ni ikimashou. Let's go all together now. We can see in our compass where we're going. And I'll be honest, I don't know how to get there, so I may need help. Hmm. And all those monsters down there look dangerous. Ikimashou. So you can see all of us going on a journey. Anyone else watching there too? You're in there somewhere. Is it just my end or is the screen frozen for others? Oh no, is the screen frozen? This is bad news because my screen looks okay. Ah, yokatta. Exploding penguin, something something, the harder you fall. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to hear your screen is messed up, Igneal, but I'm very glad to hear that not everyone's screen is messed up because technical difficulties are not new on Japanese quests. Sometimes I feel like my uh, overlay here is testing the limits of OBS. OBS seems to be not super stable sometimes, so I hope that it's okay. Tell me if it's never not okay. Okay, let's see. Anyone know where to go right now? Ah, yatta. Naotta. Yosh. Can we teleport from here? Because I know we're going to the shipbuilder's house, I believe. Um, but I'm not sure of the fastest way. I think we need to go overland somewhat to get there. Huh. Let's just start going, I guess. Looks like this way. Ah, yosh. So again, we can see the kanji there. Shiraberu. To investigate. It's a word we see so much. This is the kind of word, if you play a game like this, that by the end you will probably learn it just because you see it so much and eventually maybe you'll look it up, figure it out. Just f sheer exposure, you get used to it. I was asleep yesterday so I didn't even know, I don't even know where you are. Yeah, we saved Nia. That's pretty much what happened. And now we're on our way to the shipbuilder's place. We need a ship to get out of here. And can I jump down here? <laughs> yeah, the kanji we just started is yep, isho ni isho ni ikimashou. Let's go. Let's go together. Hmm. I'm still lost, you guys. Can I jump down here? There must be like a way, right? I'm jumping. I'm sure I'm taking a not good way, but whether it's with the language or in the game, sometimes it's fun to take the long way or the hard way. Eh, Abu Knight. Hmm. Not sure if that dinosaur wants to hang out with us. We're probably going to die down here. Perhaps you can recommend a better route, but let's try to just get somewhere. Is it a dead end down here? I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Well, we got somewhere. Yosh. Eh, kowai. Kowai, kowai, kowai. Tsuyo yatsu ga ippai iru. Oh man, the video is starting to just go up and go in and out for me. I wonder why. I wonder if it would help if you 
um, restarted Twitch or something? I don't know. I hope it's working for everyone else. It looks okay for me. Just had to head north from Traveler's Resting Tree. So, am I going the right way now, you think? Or am I in a bad place? <laughs> Should I teleport back there? Is there a way to lower vid quality? Uh, oh, there isn't? Oh, no. That's too bad. I thought that maybe you could with the gear icon, but maybe not. I try to run at a bit rate where most people can watch. Um, our bit rate isn't that high. I think it's around 2,500, which I think is supposed to be pretty good. So I hope it works for everyone, or most everyone. Yoshikimashou. Tabun shinu. If you can watch on YouTube, however, you can. Yeah, YouTube's another option. We are dual streaming on YouTube. That may change, but for right now, we are. And this is probably... Whoa. How do I get up from here? Yeah, I remember this place I was lost in before. Hmm. I think I took the wrong way. We're not going to find the day particle over here. <laughs> I don't think. So our goal is to find the day particle, our gaming... Our learning target you can see in the left but I don't think this wolf or this dinosaur wants to teach us the day particle I think they just want to teach us that that's what they want to teach us if you were already dead Shinda. I feel like jumping in there was the wrong thing. Maybe back to this tree? And you said just north from here? How do you take north from here? It looks like <laughs> it looked like we stopped. Yes, we will, we will use the power of memes to learn Japanese as well. We will harness all of our imagination, all of our memes, anything we have <laughs> to learn some Japanese on here. And to progress in the game. Yo, shh. Can you go up here? Maybe this hill? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Does the Nai and Abunai somehow represent negation? Or is it just part of the word? Or a coincidence? To be honest, I'm not sure. And I will often say I'm not sure because I like... Unless I'm a like 99% on something, I like to say I'm not sure. Uh, it sounds like it is probably a negation of some type, would be my guess, but uh, I don't know. I always take it as just a single word, a, a single set. Yeah, me model. Oh no. Oh, we can fight this guy, maybe. The me model's power. So does Ne. Reset it, and it's working better. Good to hear. Yosh, ikimashou. Is this the right way? Maybe? At least these guys are in our level zone, although they're still tough for us. Let's try one on for size. Whoops. My pro controller likes to make that screen come up. Sorry about that. Yosh. This may be death, but we need a little bit of... Abunai. Not as far as I know, Roynas, but that's a good idea. Yeah, Abunai. Uh, just means dangerous. So you'll hear me saying Abunai a lot because we're in some Abunai areas. Very Abunai. Especially when our potions jump off the cliff. That's very Abunai. Hmm. Oh, 
Gumbody Mas. Yeah, during these battles, feel free to talk, <laughs> ask Japanese questions, anything like that. Uh, these battles at our current power level, especially against a higher level opponent, they do take a while. I have considered grinding off st stream just to get a bit stronger so we can do these battles a bit faster. What do you guys think about that? Would you be okay with that or do you want me to keep all battles, all gameplay? On stream. Any opinions about that? I considered grinding a few levels just so we'd do battles a bit faster. Because language is the focus after all. Any opinions? Iken ga arimasu ka? Iken means opinions. You can say Iken ga arimasu ka? Oshiete Do you have any opinions on that? I'd be curious. Ah, oh, abunai. Uh oh, he's enraged. This is bad. Oh no, I hear a bad sound. I think this means we're gonna die. I think there must be another monster here, right? I'd be fine with grinding off screen. It's pretty important to keep up on the levels. Don't mind either way. This game doesn't really need grinding. So does Nate. He doesn't really need grinding, but it might speed up some of these battles a little bit. Since we're playing through the same game for story, language, I don't mind at all. I played through the whole game without grinding. Yeah, he might be better at the game than me. As long as we do some side quests, the level should be fine. Hi, Soshio. It's good to see your opinions on that. Oh no, all the treasure bell. That's not good. And it's all gone. Oh no. Common core. Hmm. There's always the inn. True, we should do the inn. We haven't done the inn for a little while. That's a good point. If learning is the goal, probably aim to do that off stream grinding. Yeah. Welcome, Risteria. Yeah, I think that, uh... I think I might do some of that. At least it doesn't mean Persona 5 Merciless Grinding. <laughs> thanks for the juicy dialogue. Yeah, thanks for the suggestions. I've been thinking about that. I didn't know if anyone would be... would feel betrayed if I did battles without the stream. Do nihongo de grinding to imasu I actually think I have heard grinding in katakana for grinding in Japanese. I'd love if anyone could confirm that, but I do think I've maybe seen that. Um, if anyone can confirm that this is the right way, that might be helpful too. I think it probably is. Yoshikimashou. Let's check out this logging camp here. I pretty much agree with you guys, by the way, on the grinding. I think a little bit of grind grinding off screen might be in order. Choshi wa dou. So, how are you? Ore wa kono nokiru wa bassai jo de oyakato yatteru otto to yunda. So, this guy's name is Otto, working at this logging area. You're going to Tori's uncle. That's correct. And seeing another comment. Thinking of grinding, I've actually played games that don't allow grinding. Ah, uh, so this guy. Yeah, you probably don't need to grind in this game like some people said, but you definitely can. Um, koko de! Here we go! I think we found our first day. We're getting taught the particle day by this logger here, so let's point at it. So we can see our learning target today is the day particle. So let's take a look at what he's teaching us. Here we go. Koko de! Um... Kita ki wa Torigo no machi no um, Shipia uh, Mokuzai jo e to hakobi kako suru. Okay, so he's saying all of this stuff that happens later happens here. Koko de. Thanks for the uptime there. So koko de. So koko means here, and then de just means so right here we do all of this. We do, we cut down trees, we 
then transport and process the logs and then send them to the town down the hill that we just climbed up. So they're Coco De. And yeah, that should be good. Yosh. So they cut up. Kaguya, Gaki ga, Tsukureru te koto da. So they can make things like. Here we see the ya particle. We'll look at it later, but it basically means things like this. Could be other things. It's not an exhaustive list. But things like furniture, things like instruments. So they can make kagu or gaki with the wood here. They're famous for their wood here. Yeah, day is a pretty easy one. It pretty much means like a place of action, like at where something happens. So he's saying, koko de. This is where we do all the logging, where we do all the stuff where we can make our furniture and and eventually make things like instruments. It all happens right here. Koko de, meaning it all happens here. This is the place of action. You have to cut down trees, kind of like at or on. So does net. Sarani wa, so even more. Um, sore kara, speru bia ya, um, aberi de ni, uh, yushutsu suru, or yushutsu da. So then it's going to be um, imported to some of these other places, Aperubia and Abarita. So they're, they're kind of uh, famous for their wood. Yeah, Exploding Penguin, I think that's a good understanding of it, at or on. And we'll see more, hopefully. But our first time being taught the day particles, this logger here. Um, Gura no um, jumoku wa shitsu mo ishi. So they have really high quality trees here. Ninki garu. Ninki means popular, so ninki garu. So very popular. Uh, okay. If they've got wood, let's take some. <laughs> so this name. Yatta. We got some of their sweet, sweet wood. Ooh, check this guy out. He knows what he's doing. Sugoi. Anything else back here? Takara ga aru kana, any treasure? But I appreciate that guy for teaching us the day particle a little bit. Yatta! Takara bako! Wingu chipu. You think we should look to up upgrade our chips? Why don't we? Might have a better chip for someone here. Skate chip, I'd say that's a bit better. Let's upgrade. You can still see there's no special effect. It says Tokushu Koka Nashi, mean, meaning no special effect. But we get a nice new sword name. Uh, Lika, Likaon Sodo. Not sure what that means, but let's do it. Yosh. Okay, so where were we? This may be the way. You think? Exploding Penguin, you seem to know this game really well. Is this the right way, Exploding Penguin? <laughs> Up here? This might be a high level way to go. I'm not sure if this is right or not. Daijobu kana. Eh, tsuyo yatsu. Ooh, we found him. Fudo no Gonzalezu. Immovable Gonzalez. The one and only. In Japanese, it's made with two kanji. Down a little. Just don't jump down the water slide. <laughs> Started going in and out again. Oh no, I'm sorry, Igneel. Sorry about that. So, Fudo. So, Do means movement, and Fu means no. So, no movement. Immovable Gonzalez. Yeah, if you keep going straight, you'll end up near Torigo. So I'm getting mixed messages. Should I not jump down? <laughs> Let's go back then.
down a little. Okay. So that's what we have the party for. We can give tips to each other in Japanese, also in the game. Wrong altitude, I think. Don't we have to cross the arc structures from underneath? So more this way, maybe? Let's try this way. Yoshi, ikimashou. Does this look right? The full map, so like the big, big map. Just keep going north. So you can see us there. Japanese word for map, by the way, chizu. So just keep going north. We can see us there, just keep going north. Yeah, trying to, but it looks like north is kind of cut off. Let's try going this way. I think I'll mostly try to avoid fights for now. Yeah, nice comment. Risteria. North. Let's go north. Kitae. Kita meaning north, of course. Kitae. Iko. Ayata. So we're at like the backbone, I think it said. Yatta. Ooh, should we fight a bunnet? I feel like we should fight a bunnet. They're a little squishy, a little softer for us. Yosh! Let's try out our new auto attack. Yatta! Thanks everyone! Seikodane! Success! Thanks everyone for the feedback. This game can be a little easy to get a little lost at times. すぐ勝ちます。勝った。やった、勝ちました。ボネットさんは弱いですね。俺たちは強い。強くなった。We have become strong here in Japanese Quest. We can destroy bonnets. Not sure about this guy though. Eh, hey, Abunai. Said he's like a sniper. We want to stay away from that guy. Yeah, now I know where we are. This is definitely right. Thank you. Yosh. I don't know why I wasn't finding it at first. So, Game Theology just got back from grabbing dinner downstairs. I'm doing homework while watching the stream. Awesome. And whatever knucklehead cooked this rice, put way too much water in our rice cooker. Eh, zanen desu ne. I'm not great at making rice myself. Ah, abunai, abunai, abunai. Hashiru, hashiru, hashiru. We're gonna run. We're gonna die though. That guy flies. Ooh. Oh no. I thought we had it. Shinda, sumimasen deshita. Shinda. <laughs> oh no, we're way back here again now too. Don't worry, it's okay to die. Just like it's okay to make mistakes in Japanese. You just come back stronger. You never give up. Akidamenai. To give up is akidameru, so you can say. Zettai. Akidamenai. I will never give up. But I will try to avoid that guy if possible. Oh no. Why is he right here again? Ano tori. Daikirai. Let's just try to get through here without getting killed by a bird. 
I don't think this Turkin's gonna kill us, but I don't want to be in the other guy's range. <laughs> Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> Courage. Okayu desu ne. Porridge is kind of like a, is it kind of like oatmeal type thing? Here we go. Ah, hold up. Soda wa kire, kire desu ne. Again, I recommend if you see that fin ever in the game, don't swim there. I swam there. It took like five, ten minutes. Waste of time. There's nothing there. Don't swim there. Or it might have been there that I swam, or both. Don't swim there. My advice. So da yo ne. Oatmeal wa. Porridge no issue desu ne. <laughs> Already swam there. Yeah, I always like to look in every kind of secret, possible secret place. Is he coming from Roynus? Wouldn't rice uh, with too much water become Kongi though? Unless it mysteriously undergoes a rice oat oh, transformation. Ah, so come on, I. I'm not a porridge expert. Japanese is enough to try to keep up with. But perhaps we can level up in our porridge level on this chat as well. We will try to level up in many areas, Japanese, in the game, maybe some Chinese, with VZ Blades knowledge, maybe some porridge leveling up as well. Yosh. Once we're level 99 at porridge, Japanese quest will be unstoppable. So I see Igneal commented, I've actually swam around all the Titans because I wanted to see any secret spots. Yeah, I bet a lot of people have. I've done the same. Cereal or soup? I don't know. To me, it's like kind of in between. Does anyone, is anyone high level in porridge and can explain this to us? <laughs> Here we go. So where are you? So maybe a good, um, some good words for us to add could be question words, like words like doko. I still think we haven't added yet. Those could be word good. Soup cereal. So come on, Shinai. Game theology. All the things we talk about during our travels together. Love you all. Ah, kochira koso. Kochira koso. Tanoshi zo. Let's see. So here we are. Doko ni iru mo. So where are you? Again, mo at the end. That's the mo particle just for no pun. <laughs> so there's another question word. Could be good to learn today. So dare meaning who. So who is it? So you're being loud over here. During my job. Shigoto jobs. So shigoto chu during my job. Nanda. So another question word, nani or nanda. So like what? Is it Torah? The particle mo at the end instead of ka. Yeah, that's just for no pun. <laughs> just for no pun. They like to add the mo at the end. <laughs> yep. See again, you can see hisashiburi mo. So hisashiburi means like no, long time no see. But he says mo just because he's a, a no pun. That's like the special... No pun dialect. In the English version, I've heard it's meh. Yeah. 
in Royna said it's the Japanese me if you've played the English version. They always say me, but in the Japanese version, they always say mo. Just kind of a cute way to end the sentence. Often you'll see special dialects in anime or, or books of certain characters or races will have some kind of random sound at the end of a word. For example, in the show One Piece, many characters have a weird thing they say at the end of something they say. Cat characters often say nyan at the end because nya or nyan is the cat sound. So it's kind of like that. So he's also saying long time no see. Ichinenburi. So it's been about one year. Gurai. Kurai at the end there means about one year. Yeah, me me me. No pun. End speech is me me. Yeah, it's mo in Japanese. So yep, about a year. <laughs> so you've grown up a lot, gotten a lot bigger in that one year. So Seicho, so that means he's he's been growing, or maybe he's he's grown now. Otomo, so you also brought a lot of uh kind of attendance along with you. Uh so why is that one the number and not kanji? It's just because it fits better? Uh do you mean the one for one year? It's a good question. They often do use like the one instead of the kanji. I think it's kind of easier to read quickly sometimes. You often see the numerals, the Arabic numbers like that. Yeah, like Royna says, you will often see that. I think it might just be easier easier to parse the sentence that way. You'll see many of the reasons for differences in Japanese from what you might expect are to kind of make it easier to read or easier to say. That can often be a basic principle to think about. Uh, let's continue <laughs> hmm. so he's saying otomo janakute so not otomo they're not like my attendants or whatever they're uh otomo dachi they're my friends or you could say nakama it, yeah it could be a safe space too at times <laughs> So this is the guy I was telling you about, Umon. Hmm. So let's break this one down a little bit because it's kind of a useful, nice sentence. So it's talking about this guy's specialty. So he was friends with uh, Ji-chan, with uh, Tora's grandfather. Um, so Mukashi no. So Mukashi means long ago. So long ago... Kenkyu nakama, so a special kind of nakama, kenkyu nakama, kenkyu meaning research. So he was a research, uh, like a, a research assistant or friend, basically. And de, we do see the de particle. Wow, I missed that, but now I see it. Good thing we looked at it. If we can get an uptime, that'd be sweet. So we have the de particle here. So de, this is just kind of setting up the kind of relationship they had. So kenkyu nakama de. So that means that is how his grandpa knew him. So de is kind of setting up their relationship. So nakama de, and then now it's going to talk about his specialty. Uh, fune o tsukuru no ga tokui. So tokui is the noun here, and all of this modifies it. So he's very good at making ships. And then it's describing him, the person. So, funeo tsukuru no ga tokui na hito nanda mo. So, it's a little complex, but if you start to break sentences like this down slowly, it can start to work a little bit better. Thanks for the uptime there. We can go back and mark that later. Yosh. Let's continue. I'll try very hard not to press A. Ganbarimasu. So, saying hello, hello, and uh, thanks so much for helping us. So, so to have your 
friends increase. That's a good thing. So you become a great nopan. So, tokoro de. So, we do see a day here, but you can think of this one as a set, a different thing. This is a different grammar point you might learn for JLPT later on, but it still might use the basic property of de. But tokoro de just kind of means by the way. So, he's saying, by the way, kyo, so today, nan no yo. We've seen this before. Nan no yo just means, so what, what business do you have here? So, Nan no yo de. Oh, we have a day again. So we definitely want to uptime this too. So nan no yo de. Koku ni kita. So this is actually a good one to look at for day. It's a little bit different. So nan no yo de. Koku ni kita. Just meaning, so what business brings you here? And the day can kind of give you the sense of uh, nan no yo de. So for what reason did you come here? Or for what job did you come here? Nan no yo de koko ni kita. Yosh, domo arigato. Thanks for the uptime there. Let's continue. So, by the way, what brings you here? Mm, it's kind of a big request. So, jitsu wa. So, actually, we would like to borrow a ship. So, if you want a ship, there's a lot in the port in town anyway. Okay. So, we see another instance of de. Again, it's part of a kind of a unit. So, nande. You can say nande for, again, de, kind of for what reason. So what, nan means what, so nande, so for what reason did you come all the way down here if you want to get a ship? They have lots of ships in the city. So nande. Yosh. Tamo? So, moshikashite. So perhaps maybe you don't have money? Kane ga nai? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So, so, uh, so I did create this um, artificial blade, Hana. So, used all my funds doing that. Now I don't have any money. Hmm. So we thought to kind of change the mood, we go on a a trip with a ship, uh, but we don't have the money for it. <laughs> so here, yeah, tekito na uso. This is a good word that we should maybe add to our power level soon. Uso. So, Tori here, she says, keeps one after another. Tsugi kara tsugi e. So, one after another. Teki to no uso. Just random, kind of poorly made lies. One after another. Saying we like, we don't have money. We want to go on like a fun, random ship journey. So, Tori just, I guess, tells a lot of lies. A lot of uso. Yosh, uso tsuku, you can say to tell a lie. And if you say like a liar, you can say uso tsuki, uso tsuki. So you can say tora wa uso tsuki. Dame. Shikata nai daro. Shikata nai. There's nothing we can do about it. Torigo kara nigete kita nante iyeru wake nai jodai ka. So yeah, we've got to run away from there. We already talked about that. Ma, so da kido sa. So da kido sa. That's true, but. So even Tora, in his own way, is kind of thinking and doing his best. Ah, so that's the one that your parent and grandparent worked on 
were researching before, the artificial blade. <laughs> so you'll notice she also speaks with the Nopon dialect. She has Mo at the end of her sentences. Just introduce herself there. Nice to meet you. Sasuga. So Senzo, I think Senzo is that his grandpa's. Yeah, so Senzo no Mago. So Mago means, let's look. So Senzo san here is the grandfather's name. So Senzo san no Mago. So no Mago means his grandchild. Mago meaning grandchild. And Sasuga just means as expected from someone as awesome as his grandpa will have a grandchild that can do something like this. Oh. So it looks like he finally understood and he might be up for giving us a ship, maybe. Uh, so he wants to say that. Dakedo, but he says dakedo, so kedo, but I want to say that, but, and this is where the Xenoblade comes in, but you need to do something first. Uh, ima wa, ima wa so, another word we could definitely add to our power level. Muri. Ima. That's a good one too. Ima wa, so right now, ima, it is muri. Impossible. So, ima wa, muri, mo. We got a no pun on We got a no pun here. Why? So it's kuteru tochu. So I'm still in the middle of building it. So it's kuru is to build. If you put it in the progressive form, tsukuteru means am building, and then tochu means during the process of building. Uh, so I see a comment down there. One small favor leads us on a god-slaying journey. <laughs> so does net. Yeah, that's kind of how these Xenoblade games go, huh? <laughs> so we do see the day particle here. It would be great if we have another uptime. Uh, ato Choto de. So he really made that choto really long. Choto means short amount of time. But since he made the choto really drawn out, it gives you a sense that maybe it will take a little bit longer than we think. So ato choto de. So choto, here day shows. So this is the amount of time. You can say choto de. You could also say something like ichiji kan de. So in one hour. So day can also be used to show uh, a duration of time. So you can say ichiji kan de kanse. So it will be completed in one hour. You can say choto de kanse, meaning it will be completed after a little bit. But if you extend it like that, it means it might take a little longer. Um, so choto de kanse nan dakedo. So but zaryo ga tarinakute, sagyo ga tomatte mo. Uh oh. So he's missing something. Zaryo, meaning materials or Sometimes it's ingredients. And tarinai means have not enough. So tarinakute, sagyo ga. So I've stopped my work. This is the verb for stop here. Tomaru, tomatteru mo. So I'm guessing we can help him with this. I'm not guessing. I've done it before. I know that we can help him with this. We can find it. By the way, just keeping track of our Learning target day, I think we've already found at least four. So if we find one more, we can add this language art to our language arts list and we can level up and uh, add it to our metaphorical sphere grid in our minds and our hearts. Yoshimashou. Ryu wa sore dake? Ryu wa sore dake. So that's the reasons, just that. So mo yama yori takaku unkai yori fukai. Uh, so he's kind of going on and on about the reason. So it's, let's just kind of look at what he's saying. He's talking weird, but so yama yori takaku. So yama is a great kanji to learn. It's pretty simple. It just means mountain. So yama yori takaku. 
Unkayori Fukai, so deeper than the cloud sea. Uh, that yori can kind of mean than, so higher than a mountain, deeper than the cloud sea. Shinkoku no yudaramo. So it's a very kind of serious, deep reason that he still needs those materials. Yudaramo. Sumari. Okay, so again, sumari. So to summarize, you just need the materials, then you can finish it. Ma, so you got them. Ma, that sounds about right. Hmm, so if we gather those materials. Mochiron, so of course. I will hurry up and make you that ship and lend it to you. Yatta! So awesome! Isoide! Let's hurry and go! Isoide iko! Mina! Nice, we see Mina then. That's a word we learned yesterday, Royness. Um, you missed yesterday, but uh, Mina just means everyone. And uh, that's one that we learned yesterday and added to our power level. So Umon's talking weird. Don't all Nalpon talk weird, though? Yeah, they pretty much do all talk weird. They all add a lot of mo, um, especially at the end of sentences. And they all kind of talk weird in general, too. They kind of talk a bit more like a little kid might or something like that. Hmm. Okay, I think we found our last day. Here we go. If we get one last uptime. Minna de. That's a really good one. That's a word we learned yesterday. Minna, meaning everyone. So, minna de. So, everyone, all together. Let's look for the materials together and go. So, minna de zairyo atsume ni ikumo. So, let's all go and collect these materials. And the first thing he says here is, wakatta mo. Understood. So, let's all go together. Minna de. You could also say something like, hitori de. That means, I'm going to go alone. But if you want to say, go with everyone, you can say, Minna de zaiyo atsume ni iku. At the end, that part ni iku just means let's go and let's do it, whatever the part is before. In this case, gathering materials. I see a couple comments up there. How come some of those subtitles have long spaces between the words? Some are just all together. Uh, sometimes they have pauses. I'm not sure what you're talking about now, but if I'm looking at them later, I can try to p comment on it. Um, no pawns are weird in general. There was another de in isoide. Yeah, that's true, but that de actually is kind of a part of that verb. Like that verb changes to de. Um, it's normally isogu. It's a good comment though. But yeah, that is a de, but it's actually a part of the, the way that verb changes or conjugates. So you can say isoide. Isogu changes to isoide. It just means hurry. It just means hurry with that. But that's true. It is the hiragana for day, but it's a little different than the grammar particle here. But good comment. Let's continue. Konnichiwa. Why Vancaster? Konnichiwa, konbanwa, genki desu ka? Yeah, it's the te form. It is the te form. Yosh. Ikubo. Wow, I think we actually found all the day that we needed. We found five instances at least. Uh, so that just means let's set this as our active quest, our active quest. So we've got the overall Japanese quest to learn Japanese and level up in the game as well. Uh, we've got the quest for day, and we've also got this active quest now to find these materials. Ah, so it looks like we have a ways to go. Shall we look at the fast travel? Hmm. Yosh, it looks like we need to get there. Seems like this might be the closest. Yosh, kono basho ni idoshimasu ka? Would you like to move to that place? Ie, 
No. はい。行きましょう。Welcome, Van Caster. Yeah, right now we're looking for some、uh, ingredients to help build a ship. 一緒に行こう。綺麗ですね。グラは。本当に綺麗。何が出るかなった。草花は心を癒してくれる、ね。よし。このゲーム楽しいか楽しいよとっても。This game's a lot of fun. それといい勉強になる。It's also good for learning some Japanese. You have a nice script for this game.、Uh, hmm. Where do we go from here? I'm gonna look at that map again. Hmm. Anyone know how to get up there? We need to somehow get up to those. Looks like maybe from down at that other spot. Kedo. So I know there's two ways to say but, demo, which I've already known. And then another that I keep forgetting, but it starts with a K. Yep, Kedo. What's the difference between using the two words? You need to walk up one of the routes. Is there a route here, or do I need to go all around? Because it looks like there's a route to the north, the kind of light colored one.、Uh, but maybe there's a route here too. I don't know. Yeah, Kedo and Demo, they're often pretty similar. But you'll notice some patterns about how they're a little different with when they appear. But they both mean but. One of the days we learned the, kind of the big three of saying but or however in Japanese. And it's demo, kedo, and also ga, you can say, to mean but. You can say something like so desu ga. That's true, but something something. So where is this root? Here, perhaps? Not sure. Uh oh, got some high level guys. I don't know if we can get up from here. Uh, so, have we heard of an anime? Hapute Bibiku. I don't think I have heard of that. Omosho desu ka? Is it a good anime? I always like to hear、um, suggestions for anime. I'm sure other people watching might too. Can we take this? I don't know. I don't think this goes anywhere. Sun then. Omoshiro is all. Very meta anime. What's it called in English? Does it have an English name? For anyone watching that might be interested in Googling it or something? Yeah, I'm curious in chat, in the party, what is everyone's favorite anime here? Ego wa Pop Team Epic. Eh, omoshiro so. What is everyone's favorite anime or like、uh, currently anime that you kind of like or are watching? Favorite's kind of hard, but some of your favorites. Steins Gate. Omoshiro is ne. Yeah, I like Steins Gate as well. It's always good to hear suggestions and. I've come to appreciate your opinions. They've saved my life many times. So maybe you could help with anime as well. <laughs> Sounds good. 
Sounds good, 100% grape juice. Kuso anime. Tiger and Bunny, fairy tale. Ah, omoshou so. Dragon Ball, omoshou desu ne. Death Parade. Huh, I think I'm going the wrong way here. Ah, uh, Maho Shoujo Maroka. That was pretty interesting. Omoshokatta. Can we get up here? I'm thinking this is a bad place. Nope. This is a bad place. Yeah. Kimi no Nawa. Yeah, that was great. Literally, that movie changed my perspective on relationships. I love that movie too much to finish my thesis on it. <laughs> Sounds like a nice thesis. It's a great, great movie. Uh, I'm not living in Japan. I'm living in the U.S. I did live in Japan for two years. Teaching English in Japan for two years, but currently living in the U.S. Which is why I like traveling through video game Japan. I did travel to Japan last summer f for five weeks. That was a lot of fun. Ah, yatta! Yo, koso! Japanese Quest away. Well, I guess you're already here. Welcome to Japanese Quest! Always happy to get a new party member and get surprised by the Final Fantasy VI victory music. It's one of my favorite games, that's why I put that there. Uh, can this work? May need help on the root situation here. This place is confusing. I feel like this is not a good way. But we will see. Especially since if we walk through there, we're going to die. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we will get attacked by some level 40 guys, though. It's okay to be a little lost. We can talk about our favorite anime and whatnot. Oh, I thought those were like things to pick up, but no, those are enemies that will kill us. The route beside it. We need to go up. Can we go up this route? Do you mean on the right? So, where I'm facing, should I go right or left? I will not move until the party has spoken. <laughs> because right now, my wanderings are not helping anything. This is Twitch plays Xenoblade. <laughs> you control the character. Migika, Hidarika. Uh, Gorman was always my worst place to figure out where to go. In fact, I still get stuck. Migi. Okay. But Migi also <laughs> will make us die. But I will gumbo it. So go for that route, maybe? Or. Hmm. <laughs> nice, so comedian. Go right and left. Yeah, I did play through this, but I got lost a lot the first time, too. Maybe up here? What are you thinking, Exploding Penguin? Does this look good? I, ex I trust Exploding Penguin's sense of direction, or if, or Too Dim, if Too Dim was here. Let's see... Ooh, this might be good. Ikeso! Arigatouzaimasu! Tasukatta! Even with all the translating, 
I might actually be getting through this game faster. With all the directional help. Eh? Doko? 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 Nani? Doko? I don't know where that turkin went. Eh? Nani? 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 Dead end? Ikidomari? Uh. I thought we were there, but now. Dead end. Grab the vines. Oh, so this net. No boat. Yeah, this is one of the hard things in this game. Sometimes there's like a ladder that you can never find. Yatta, arigato. No boat. No boru to climb. Thank you, Okomijin. Thank you, Exploding Penguin. Yatta. Nobota. Yosh. Ikeso. Is anyone in chat uh, living in Japan? Any party members from Japan right now? Yosh. Gambarimas. Ah, very cool, very cool. Nihon ni sundemasne. Doko? Nihon no doko? Ah. Kanagawa desne. Kanogawa, I believe that's just north, south of Tokyo, right? So what? Kanagawa, how do you feel? Is I lived in uh, Yamaguchi Prefecture when I lived in Japan. I, I don't think I've been to Kanagawa Prefecture before. Yosh, kata, yo yu yo. So two characters said yo yu, meaning that was an easy fight for us. Yo yu yo yu. Kekko omoshiroi, yokatta. Ikitai, ikitai na. So Kanagawa Prefecture is that where Yokohama is? Is that like Yokohama? Yatta secret place. So this yo ne Tokyo yori shizuka na. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to go there someday. Kanagawa ni ikitai na. Toriaizu Video Game Japan ni Iku Yosh Okay, let's try to get these without falling off very carefully. Where are we now? Yosh Ah, Hakone. Interesting. Ah, so you've been to uh, Kanagawa as well, Game Theology. Very cool. Yeah, I need to go there. I've been to Tokyo, but I don't think I've been 
south in that specific area. I did, I did go close to Mount Fuji when I was there last summer, and that was really, really cool. If you ever have a chance in your life to go close to Mount Fuji and get a good view of it, I highly recommend it. Sugoi desu yo. Sugoku kirei. Fuji-san wa. Yosh, I think we got all of them. Yosh, dekimashita. Um... I got the crystal, I had my first rare blade. I think, Igneal, that inspires me. We must try to do a, a core crystal. Let's see if we have some. Maybe your luck will spread to us. Maybe it's fate. Yo, you, yo, you. Yeah, yo, you means it's like an easy fight. Ooh, let's do our rare core crystal. Gambarimas. <laughs> Gambarimas. Come on. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's okay. Let's not make him feel bad. It's a new Nakama. <laughs> yo you yo you yeah it can just mean like having extra with something so in the context of a fight if you have yo you it means that you you have a lot of extra you didn't go all out um you can say it for anything that's kind of easier like if you have a lot of reserve tank left it means you have yo you remaining essentially so yo you yo you yo you yo you got it uh, let's see here. We got some abilities. Ooh, mineralogy plus botany looks good. This guy's a scientist. Let's try one more. Common. Ganbarimas. Ganbarimas. Eh? Onaji? It's like the same guy? Or no. Almost. Ah, so this guy, Gaikokujin, this name. Dokono Shushin, this guy. No rare. Not today. Not now, anyway. Oh well. We tried. We weren't as lucky as you, Igneal son, in this place, getting the rare blade. Still didn't get a rare blade yet. We've only had two rare crystals. Let's return. Can we teleport back now, probably? Ah, America Jin desu ne. Watashi mo America Jin desu. Yosh. Let's see. No, we want to go here, do we? Eh. Where are we going now? I didn't see a compass. I'm not sure where we're going now. Asugoi. Los Angeles. California shoe this net. Eat this net. You need one other type of item. Oh, really? Ah, so this net. Puzzle tree. Okay. It's time to start digging up some trees, I guess. Puzzle tree. 
Anyone know where the puzzle tree, the, the nice puzzle tree stock is? Um, after that rare, it took a very long time for next blade. So my bad rare blade luck has gone on since that first rare. It's on then this net. Do we have any puzzle trees like in Tora's house? I feel like he's got trees just like sitting in his living room. Tora no Ie. Maybe. That was from wood, actually. There's a collection spot where you are at. Uh-oh. Around the way tree. Oh, yeah. Puzzle wood. We have 7 of 10. Let's see if we can get some out of the wall here. Uh, maybe we should add more blades. On Nia. Because she only has one blade still. Then she can have some tree powers as well. Thinking the tree powers are what we want, probably. Maybe this guy. This guy. Yosh. So I see a comment in Japanese from Fiendcaster. Ore wa America Jin Kedo. Los Angeles no. Um. So, kirai means hate, so it doesn't like the police in Los Angeles. So, if you want to know the reason, Los Angeles no kesatsu ga lambo da, because they're, they can be rather violent. Nihon no kesatsu no ga teine. So, yeah, the Japanese police can be more polite, nicer. I would agree. However, I was actually pulled over by the police more in Japan. I guess because I'm a foreigner there. No puzzle tree in your house? Hmm. Yosh. Yeah, LAPD. I would imagine. I haven't been to LA for a while, but went there when I was a kid. Let's see. So where are you thinking this puzzle tree wood is? Let's figure out where I can, uh, where we can teleport here. The signpost, maybe? Or the tomari key? Ganbarimasu. Let's find this tree. Ooh. How do we get up there? Doyate. What are these guys all about? Eh? Nani? Kuruna! Kuruna yo! Don't come here! Daijobu Janai Mitai Tusket it. Let's save this NPC. Yeah, do you mean, uh, yeah, sudden quest. Nihonjin are a bit more disciplined. So does Net. Sudden quest, some person attacked on the river. <laughs> yeah, that happened in the first game as well. Ah, level up shimashita. So if anyone's just first starting to watch, we just leveled up with our characters in the game, but our goal 
with Japanese Quest is to also level up with Japanese as we play. So you can see the words at the bottom. Those are words we're learning as we... Each word we learn adds to our power level by one. That's our goal as we level up as a party. Anyone who joins here on Twitch or YouTube can level up with us. Ishoni. Level up Shimashou. Yosh. Watta, watta. It's over. Eto, ano. Arigato gozaimasu. Um, Mayoi tsuta o atumete tara ukari monsta o funjate. So I was looking for a. Uh, tsuta, tsuta. I'm not sure what that is, but I think it's a special kind of item that he's collecting. And then ran into some monsters. Kinobori no renshu shitete yokatta. Good thing he practiced climbing trees. Jitsu wa sa. Otousan ga. Oh, this is the kid that we need to find. That's good. Uh, Ikenai, hayaku. Atsumete, kaenakya. So saying, oh, I got a quick return home. Yep, I see a couple comments. Um, so Game Theology is talking about being in Japan, taking the school to another campus. 90% of my buses were too obnoxious. Riding the train in Japan is first time was showering. Yeah, it can be like that if it's if it's full. So does ne. And then Kono Chatto wa Nihongo Benkyo no Tameno Chat Room desu ne. So does ne. Yeah. This chat, this party, it's a place to uh practice Japanese, to kind of teach each other Japanese, maybe give each other some tips, resources. So feel free to use Japanese or English, whatever you're comfortable with. And uh Nihongo de yeah, if someone here is a Japanese person, they can maybe level up their English. The rest of us, we can focus on our Japanese and level up in the game and in real life. That's the goal. Un, nantoka, itte te Ashi, kujai chatta mitai. Uh oh. Looks like they sprained their ankle. Um, doshio, mayoi tsura ga nai to. Otosan no shikoto ga. So if I don't find this item for Otosan, his job will be in trouble. Atashi tachi ni makasete mitai. Do you want to leave it to us? Kaiketsu dekiru to omou yo. We can take care of it, but that's not our current quest, so maybe not right now. Um, tetsudate kureru no arigato. You'll help me? Um, mayoi tsuta ato. Um, nanatsu areba tariru nda. Need seven more. That sounds like a lot. Gambarimas. Kino chikaku o sagaseba mitsukari yasui to omou yo. Suta dakara yoku ki ni karumi tsuiteru. So it's uh, near the tree, because it's a type of tree or wood, I guess. Yosh. Okay. So thanks for finding those for me. Oh, we already found it, I think. Um, can be used for mayoi tsuda wa kagu no kazari ni tsukaunda. I use it for decorations on furniture. Kino chikaku o sagaseba. Oh no, so we still need to find it. Yosh, let's look more for this puzzle tree. Didn't find any here, did we? Zanen. Maybe by this tree here, the big tree roots over there. I had no clue the Taos here flies over this tree. Bokumo wakaranai. So just three more. Atto sanko. I mean, three more of the. The thing you can see in katakana at the bottom right. Puzzle tree. Eh? Dare. I can't even see what's attacking us. Nani. Oh, this little thing. Yo. 
These things are so weak. Why are they even attacking us? Yoshikata. So, Puzzle Tree. Do we have some over here? Uh oh. High level. Yosh. Hmm. I think that was one of the things we need for the quest. What is the second kanji? It doesn't look like. Saishu. Uh, the second kanji. I'm not sure which kanji you're talking about. Saishu to gather. Yeah, this is where you get fish. Okay. Is this a... I'm not sure if we can find uh, what we need here, though. Wow. You're right about the fish. Sakana ga ippai. Ippai masu ne. Yatta. Yatta. What did he just get there? Ah, nice. Ancient cultures. Or ancient knowledge. Yeah, I guess... Could this be wood? Saishu, yeah, to, to gather. Quest of Japan. Ah! Konnichiwa! Ru3k. Welcome. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Japanese Quest to Yokoso. I actually know Ru3k from way back. I'm not sure how much Japanese you know Ru3k. Um, but Ru streams as well. Welcome to Japanese Quest for the first time. The whole point of this quest, for anyone else just watching too, is uh, to level up in the game, but also level up in real life with learning some Japanese. You can see Japanese at the bottom of the screen. Those are all the words we've learned so far on this quest. And I'll try to keep adding to them as we learn new words each day. Well, five days a week anyway is the current schedule. At 8 o'clock central time. Ishoni Level up Zero Japanese save for basic anime words. <laughs> hey Ruth 3K, I don't think you've followed this channel. You should follow the channel because if you do, you'll have to do like victory music from Final Fantasy VI and it would be cool. And it would make our Japanese quest level up. If you want to. <laughs> yeah, anyone, if, if anyone wants to follow, you'll become a party member, which just kind of means you can join whenever you want and uh, join us on our quest as we kind of level up in game and in real life in Japanese. Ishoni, level up Yosh. Um. Yatta! Yokoso! Japanese Quest away. Welcome Ru 3K. Check that out. The graphics. See the fancy graphics from Final Fantasy VI. You are now a party member, Ru. So we now have a Ru in our party, which always is helpful. If we have any like jumpy, like needs for like jumping really high, you can't actually jump that high in this game. But now we have a Ru, so we can figure out the jumping issue. We have high-level jumping abilities. Has joined. Yosh. Um. I'm having bad luck finding this thing we need. Wait. Yokoso. That means welcome, by the way, Ru. In Japanese. Whoops. Didn't want to go there. You already found it. Oh, did oh, did we find it? Exploding Penguin, you're so good at this game. You're so on top of everything. We found it. That's why it's not showing up anymore. Arigatou gozaimasu. I was so distracted and excited by 
gaining a new party member that I did not realize we completed our quest target. Yosh, so let's teleport back there then. You now need to go back to Uman's. Uh, yeah, which one of these is Uman's again? Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. Yosh. Konnichiwa, Rue3K. Yeah, Rue3K, I'm not sure how much... I think you've probably learned some Japanese from anime. The words at the bottom that scroll, they scroll about every one minute. There's some words from anime, so you can maybe learn something. If you even gain one word in Japanese by watching this channel, even one word, that means your power level goes up by one. So this, the whole point of this channel is to make your power level go up. If you look at the bottom and just learn even one word, all of a sudden, ah, uh, you've you've leveled up, you've powered up in Japanese. So that's the goal, anyway. The long lost Igneal Natsu is looking for you. <laughs> Igneal, yeah, I don't know what is Igneal. What's Igneal from? You are like the Navi of this playthrough, except you're actually helpful. <laughs> so does that. <laughs> Exploding penguin. I'm imagining this like penguin, like in the background, that just like knows everything, but also might explode at any in any moment. Ah, from Fairy Tale. Oh yeah, I forgot that you... You told me about Fairy Tale before I recall. Yosh, sorry stuff happened. Pretty sure I just saw uh, Kizuna Taku. Oh really? Where's the Kizuna Taku? I think it might have just been this. You think it was just this, the salvaging point? Because Kizuna Taku means it's a heart-to-heart, -heart, so there might be a heart-to-heart near here. Yeah, probably just that for now. Let's continue with the story and go back here, because we finally found our ingredients, our materials to make this ship. Yosh, ikimashou. Exploding penguins, it's like the penguins in Dis Dis Ga Dis Gaia. Yeah, I haven't played that, but it looks like a cool game. I did get the demo and I checked it out. It looked pretty cool. Yosh. So at the bottom you can see under A it says Hanasu, which means to talk. Hanashimasu. Motekitamo. So we brought what you need. So I see a comment down there from Exploding Penguin. No, it's a skit from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, where Billy and Aaron watch a movie about exploding penguins. Eh? Wakadnakata. I did not know that. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I've not heard of that. Interesting. What is that from? What What's the medium? Is that animation? Is that a television show that I that people might have heard of? I partly want to rewatch Billy and Mandy now. Yeah, what is that from? Where could someone find that if they're watching right now? Omoshiro-so. Sounds interesting. Momo, honto ni atsumete kitamo. Really? You really gathered all of it? Again, you can see that honto ni, which means really? It's an American cartoon. Ah, omoshiro so. Tashkani puzzle tree to daya oku mikoto damo. So really, you found it—the puzzle tree and the the daya oku. Awesome, he says. Kore de um, sentai wa kansei suru mo. So now I can actually finish building the ship. Uh, used to air on Cartoon Network. Ah, so desu ka. Yosh. Is it like a comedy or like a kind of drama, adventure kind of movie? Yosh, dakedo. So he's still saying, but. Yorukobu no wa mara hayai. It's still too early to be happy. Um, okurazu ni kite hoshi. So please don't get mad, but listen to what I have to say. Here we go. Does he have more for us to do? It's a pretty silly show. Ah, so desu ka. Ah, komori desu ne. Omoshiro so. Sentai no zario wa sorota kedo. So we got the materials for the ship, but um, so he says kedo, meaning but. Saki made itta arusu ga nigechatta. Oh no, I forgot about this. So the Titan that was like the ship, basically, nigechatta ran away. Kuwashiku kikasete wo. So tell us about it more um, in detail. Ano kotachi wa esa wo ageru no so if you don't give them 
Like they're kind of food. If you even just forget it for a little while, they'll run off. So I guess now we gotta find food for a for a titan. I forgot about this. Dakara tsukamaite kitte hoshimo. So dakara, because of that, I would like if you could track him down, capture him. So this ne. Ano ko wa hokaku teki ni gura no masura no izumi no hou e mukatta mo kitto sono hen de matari shiteru. So he's probably hanging out by the the kind of the spring of Masuda. So I guess that's the location we probably have on our map. Uh, so that's where he's heading. Naruhodo. I see. Arusu o mitsukatta atto wa kore kara watasu midori no kafun damo tabesasete ageru mo. So if we give him these uh, green pollen orbs, uh, then Maybe he'll be happy and come back here. I guess that's what he wants. So, Ru3K, are you the kitten telepathically talking to us over the internet? <laughs> uh, the kitten is here. Our first party member here was the kitten. Uh, so, I'm talking to you. The kitten is just a party member as well. I'm another party member. My name is Akira Sensei. I'm just a guide, and everyone else here is a party member. So I have to go now, I have to study, be back later, out of curiosity before I leave. How do I phrase something like, I have to go, um, uh, I've been scouring Jisho for vocab and just haven't come any closer. Um, arusu no tabemono. So yeah, that means, so the, the lower comment, okamijin, that means food for the, uh, arusu means titan, so food for the titan. And for game theology, you could say something like, itekimasu, if you're about to go, you can say, I'm li I'm going, but I'll be back later. You can say itekimas. That's one way you could say it. Good questions. Oh yeah, Igneal up there. I missed that part. It said, "Is it time to partake in some illegal pollen orb trades?" Yeah, it seems like these pollen orbs can kind of be like a drug underground, like a black market, in at least in Xenoblade One. So I'm not sure if we're getting into some like nefarious activity here. But anyway, I guess we need these pollen orbs to feed to the to our boat. So sereba keiyaku seiritsu. So if we do this, if we complete our contract, midori no kafun damo o ageteru aido wa yorokonde fune ni natte kuremo. So if we just give these pollen orbs, then we will have our ship. Saki mitai ni midori no kafun damo no kirimei ga midori no kirimei de wa aru keremo. Ah, so. It seems like the green one especially is what we need. Uh, Sperubia mitai ni gowin jenai no pondento no yasashi tenazuke kata nandamo. So like this green pollen orb I guess is like a special no pon recipe to help these ships, to help these titans, to tame them. Ah, sayonara, Ru3K. Yeah, sayonara, that's another way you can say goodbye. Ja, matane. Another way you can say like see you later is ja, matane. Bye bye. See you later, Ruth 3K san. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to come back tomorrow. We'll be streaming again at 8 o'clock Central Time. Itekimas. Sayonara. Ja, matane game theology. Sugoi na. So, we're saying, Sugoi. That's a really cool system you have with those green orbs. Uh. Mongai Fushutsu no Wazo o Ukari Shabechatta. Uh oh, so like he just by accident told us this like trade secret of the Nopan. Maybe he shouldn't have told us that. Study well. Yep. Gambatte gruzai. Ja matane. Eh. Tonikaku. Masada no Yuzumi e itte kurumo. So again, let's focus on not forgetting where we're going. If you're here exploding penguin. We may need your help again. <laughs> and uh, this is where we need to go. So this kanji, Izumi, you see the kanji for white on top of the kanji for water. And that means spring or like a fountain. It's a good way to remember it. You can imagine like the white bubbles bubbling up from the water. And it's called Masuda no Izumi. So this spring. So Igneal says, what if all the different pollen orb colors were just the basic yellow, and yellow pollen orb 
color dyed with food dye. And they just make different kinds to gain profits. Sayonara. Yeah, sa sayonara is more formal. Uh, and normally, you don't say it just among friends if you're just saying, like, see you later kind of thing. Uh, but for someone like Rue3K, who that might be the only word he knows for goodbye, then it's okay. <laughs> it's, then it's appropriate. But generally, something like jamata or matane would be more natural in everyday speech. It's a good question. Sayonara, it generally means like goodbye for kind of more of a long time, generally. Uh, I would not be surprised. No puns are too smart for their own good at times. So does net. So let's go to this fountain. Mochidon unkai ga takai toki de nai to inai kara chui surumo. So this is also important. When the clouds aren't high, we can't get there. So be careful of that. Ichiyo yatte miru mo kitai sezu ni matteru mo. So let's give it a try. And you can wait for us. Yosh. Yeah, very true. Good comments. Yeah, Okamijin. If anyone's watching, look at what Okamijin wrote. Good comments, all. Yosh, Midori no Kafundama. So we have our three green pollen orbs. You see the kanji for green there, and then. Just for fun, let's. This is means kafun, means pollen, and then dama here means like a, an orb or like a ball, of pollen, and you can see here we actually learned this word, for this kanji hana, so when it's alone this kanji means hana flower, but when you add this other kanji which means kind of like, particles like you see that for plow like flower and things like that, um, it changes to kafun. It means pollen. So basically like flower particles when you put it together. And then midori. So green flower orb when you put it all together. I can't read what the characters Okami put. Oh yeah. He just wrote a sayonara. So like goodbye. Sayonara. And then arigato. Yeah, if you can't read that, like does do you mean your computer doesn't show it, you might need to download something if you can't even see it. Yosh. Okay, now we need to find that spring. Ooh, it's kind of far away. Let's see if we can find it on the map. Ooh, we see a comment from Genki. So Genki is a good textbook. It's in my resources down there if anyone wants to check it out. But from Genki, so a good source, Sayonara indicates that the speaker does not expect to see the person again before she turns a page in her life. So yeah, generally it is a, a kind of more final type of goodbye. But for a lot of people, they're just, like, if they know five words in Japanese, they might know arigato, konnichiwa, sayonara. That might be, like, it. Like, three words. Like, sushi, things like that. So for someone like Ru3K, who's just stopping in, like, I know Ru3K a little bit, and probably doesn't know any other words for goodbye, so you kind of sometimes have to Use what you have. I mean that, and I don't have the ability to read Japanese characters yet. So, 100% grape juice. Sayonara wa gakko no sensei gurai ni shika shikata koto nai. Hmm. So yeah, 100% grape juice. Haven't really used it. Except with teachers. Yeah, that's a good example. So it's more formal. Good to see you, by the way. 100% grape juice. Good to see everyone else, too. Yosh. Um, shunkan ido shimasho. Let's teleport. Now, where is this place we need to go? Let's find out. There we go. So now you just need to rest in an inn to raise the tide. Good idea. Let's get that experience too. And I learned hiragana and katakana with silly stories and shapes. It's a good way to do it. Whatever works for you is what I always say.
All right, let's see if we can find the inn. Uh, so I think that it's, the compass is directing us to the inn. That's convenient. Hanasu. Arara, irashai, uchi no shizen no onke o takusen erareru yaru ya. Foresto. So it's the inn called Forest, the Forest Inn. Nice. And I think this time you could do two options, karuku yasumu, which means do a light sleep, or you can do gusuri yasumu, which means a deep sleep. That's the one that we need to change the water level, I think. Uh, I see a comment from Roynes. Do native speakers actively learn about the different pitch accents, such as to-on and chu-on? I think they do to some extent, but not as much as you might think. I think there are a lot of native speakers that might not really know what you're talking about if you ask them about that. But I'd be curious to hear from more native speakers than that. Let's see. Let's do our long sleep. Level up Kano. So it is possible. Kano. Possible to level up. So level up. Ah, yatta. Yatta, yatta. Yatta. Ah, sugoi. We got a lot of levels, especially for Nia, because she was captured before. Yeah, looking at the different the themes for the songs. Yeah, they do have different themes usually, don't they? And then Roynes. No shitsumo no imi ga wakaranai. See, yeah, see what you mean? See, Roynes, like, not everyone knows. It can be confusing. You might have to put pitch accent in Japanese. It's a confusing word. I think your answer might be that it's not super known. Oh, is it a tamadaka? Okay. See, it didn't even show up in my dictionary. So I think that's not super known. I think it's called koteon as pitch accent. Pitch accent wa nihongo de wa koteon datomoimasu. I'm pretty sure it's that's how you say it. But I think it's not super known is the is what I've heard anyway. Uh hi, let's finish our leveling up. Good questions, though, Roynes. And thanks for answering. 100% grape juice. Okay, minasan, wasurareta chi no atari made itte mimasen ka? So let's go to the forgotten place. Nanika aru no ka? Is there something over there? Nanika aru te wake janai da kedo, mo ichi do itte mitai na. Uh, don't know if there's anything over there, but want to go there again. Dame desu ka? Is that bad? Okay, so it looks like we need to go this way. So I'll try to run and read this comment and see if I don't die. Um, the reason I'm asking is because I watched this YouTuber, Dogen. Yeah, I recommend that channel, by the way. I think he has a really good series on pitch accent. He has this lesson series. He spent two years studying Japanese pitch accent to master it at an almost native level. Yeah, it does seem like he's very solid, and I do recommend his series. And you can also join his Patreon account, which seems to be pretty popular. And I might just run into this guy and die. And he talks about... Ah, Atamadaka, Nakadaka. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like that's not widely known necessarily among um, native speakers because they just can do it naturally. But I do think, I agree with his general premise that it's certainly good to study and be aware of from early in your studies if possible. So I recommend checking out Dogen's videos as well, especially on those pitch accent issues. 
Thanks for the suggestions. Uh oh. Gambarimas. Where did that guy go? Oh, he's over here now? I'm not sure if this battle is going so well. Gambarimas. Be nice to kill one of these guys. Well, where did that guy go? Oh no, not another one. Birds in this game are the worst. They just don't stop. I don't know why the arts weren't charged up. Am I attacking? Oh, this one over here. Hmm. I think I may die here. Tabu Shinu. Demo, Gambarimas. Ah. They keep flying around and it's hard to target them properly. Gambarimas. Katta. Moi piki. Yeah, I know it was not close enough before. I'm getting kind of messed up, but. Gambarimas. I'll do my best. Yeah. 100% grape juice. That is what he's talking about. Pitch accent. Koteon in Japanese. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, different ways of saying Hashi. Sorry, I'm trying to read comments and fight at the same time. It's a little deadly. Well, where did that thing go now? What? Toriga Daikirai. This, I'm not liking this bird. They keep like running away. Yatta, Kachimashita. Yatta, yatta. Thanks for all the comments during the battle, everyone. Yeah, I wasn't close enough before. Ooh. Momo, momo, momo. That's a true no pun for you. Unleashing all of their mo at once. Momo, momo, momo. Someone please save me. Uh to be eaten by these wolves. Let's save them. Ah, Yep, with all of our strength. Mo you'll save me? Un. Yes. Arigato desu mo. Um, wolf wo taoshite. Ah. Uh, Tsuka ni o momotte kurasai mo. So, de please defeat these wolves and help me with this cargo. And if I messed it up, uh, the native speaker here can help correct, I'm sure. 
よし。あん、つかにには大事なものがよろしくお願いします。もう、so、got some precious cargo. We gotta save it. Are we going for the Kizuna Taku mentioned at the inn? If so, it's at the place where we crash landed, if I remember correctly. Ah, was there Kizuna Taku? I'm not sure. We can go there sometime.、Um, the place we started? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going there now, but I, I guess we could just teleport there, maybe. Yeah, if, if people want to do that,、uh, we can do that next after this quest right here. Also, what it's a no pawn shonin, so the attacked no pawn trader.、Uh, I don't think we need to make it active. Right, right, where we crash landed. I think we can just teleport there, right?、Uh, we might as well save him, though, huh? I think we can take these guys. Yo, you, yo, you. Yatta, Kachimashta. Kachimashta, Kachimashta. Tachi Tachi ni Kakereba Rakshou da yo ne. So. Yeah, if you ask us, we can easily win. Um, Chanto kite na katta kedo, uh, Tsumini te yonda. Ah, Tsumini. Yeah, so that reading before with the cargo, I was off a little bit. It's Tsumini, I believe I said. Tsukani. Uh, so thank you. Always helpful to have a native speaker along to look at some of those. Um, again, I recommend if you're playing a game like this. You don't have to look everything up. It's okay if some things are a little off at times. It's sometimes better to just keep going, but it's always nice to find out proper words as well. Okay, Katte Kabuto no. Is that Sho or Atsume yo to mo imas? Okay, so we defeated, and so that means like a helmet, but that must be maybe an expression. Shime yo to mo. So, this no pawn's laying some tricky words on me. But basically, I think it's saying. So, Byako is saying, so yeah, we won and. Basically, just talking about that. But I'm sure I'm missing part of the meaning with that last one. Momomo, it's okay, we can keep going. Ichiji wa do naru koto ka to omotta kedo. So, thank you. I, for a minute there, I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but thanks so much for saving me.、Um, so, able to safely protect their cargo. Okay, so that was so able to safely protect their cargo. I want to know in more detail what your cargo is all about. Oh, my cargo? You're curious about it? Um, これはパフパフフンデーション。So, パフパフファンデーション。ジュエキコンディショナー。So, it's like some kind of like bark conditioner. So, some like tree resin conditioner. カッテ。Yeah, what is that phrase from before? カブトのイトグチ、maybe? Um, yeah, so that's like an expression. Kata toshite mo yoyu sezu, sada ni yojin suru. So to be careful. So yeah, I think Byako there was saying, like, don't be too confident in yourself. Like, you gotta be careful.、Um, yeah, because yudon sezu ni. So don't be, don't be neglectful of being careful. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, there's expressions like that that can be pretty tricky. Arigatamasu. Ah, o. Kabuto no o. Meaning, like, the strap of your. Yeah, so essentially, that phrase that 100% grape juice wrote down there means so winning and then, like, fastening the strap 
of your helmet. And I guess that means even if you win, don't let your guard down. Even if you win, you need to be careful. So it's a very Byakko type of thing to say. Like, even if you win, don't get arrogant about it. You need to keep your helmet strapped on. Be careful. Katte kabuto no o shimeru. ありがとうございます。いい勉強になった。よし。うん、グーダ、トコさんのコスメ。スペシャルコスメティックスフォーグーダ。うん、トリゴの街へ運ぶ途中だったんですも。そうさ、マイウェイで、テイキングトゥ <laughs> so, if it wasn't for you, I would have been eaten by those monsters there. So, that. Ore ni iku, iku tsuka, kosori wakate, agemasu mo. So, I need to give you some as a reward. Toyu ka, tsuni ni ga, ima, wataseru no wa, kore gurai shikanai. But for right now, this is all I can give you. Really, you saved me. So, thanks so much. Yatta Yet another quest we've completed. We like to complete quests on Japanese quests. We have language quests, we have game quests. And the more quests we do, the more experience we'll get. We can see our experience there. We got 240 experience. We got some experience in Japanese today too. We can see some of it with the power level, getting more power. So that's the goal. Getting experience points in game and in life in Japanese. Yosh, ikimasho. And we also got some of the foundation there, some of the makeup and conditioner. Yosh, dekimashita. So then what people were saying before, should we teleport somewhere? Or should we just keep going straight? I wanna see the party weigh in on this. Should, should I keep walking or are we trying to teleport somewhere? I'm gonna quick level up our guys. What does everyone think? Um, the hole you're using is hole. Yeah, I believe it would be, but they can answer themselves, I guess. Yatta, tsuyokunatta. Wow. You can get your trust up with those guys fast. Uh, I guess for now I'll just follow the compass unless I get any other navigation advice. Yosh, ikimasho. Hope we can go this way. Looks like there might be a cliff or something. Eh? Let's look at the map. Ah, so we need to kind of go around, it looks like. Huh. Okay, so let's teleport down here maybe. I think this way, maybe? Maybe? Kana? I feel like I might be going the wrong way entirely. But let's try here. Eh? Look at the map again. That seemed wrong. Let's go back. <laughs> Maybe lost again. Sumiwazen. Okay, this map might help. Just went the wrong way. Oh, I don't, I don't know if we can get up there, but let's try. Other way. Are you sure?
So other way around. But it looks like that will be blocked off, won't it? Do I have to go all the way around that the, the longer way? Huh, but it looks like if you have a skill, you can get up there. I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so let's go this way. Yosh. Ikimasu. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of a, I think like an eight second delay on the chat as well, something like that, maybe a little longer. So there's a delay there too. Ikimashou. Yep, I like the rainbow kappa there. The skill is for a chest. Ah, so does ka. Good, because we have like no skills. I hope we can get up there. Thanks again for the advice. Tasukatta. Iroiro. Yosh, let's go down. So, Hyaku percent grape juice is saying, Okomijin, gomen. Um, gamen mitte nakatta. I wasn't looking at the screen. So, ho. Kihon teki ni dochi mo tsukau yo. So, yeah, you can use either dochi mo tsukau. Either is okay. That's what I was kind of thinking too. So it's good to see it confirmed. Yosh, Tokyo Ghoul, yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Let's see if we can open this Takarabako yet. Still don't have the lock picking. Welcome to Japanese Quest. At the bottom, you can see our power level. Pretty soon here, we'll try to gain some words. And kind of as we go, we try to level up in-game and in Japanese. So, ita! So we finally found this titan we were looking for that will become our boat to the next place we need to go to. So let's see here. Ita! Meaning they're here. Kando no saikai mo. It's an emotional reunion. Saikai meaning reunion and kando meaning emotional. So kando no saikai. Nice. Midori no kafun damo so we should give them the, the green pollen orb. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Tokyo Ghoul. Like the name. Yokoso. Yeah, let's give uh, Tokyo Ghoul a big Japanese quest welcome. Let's roll out the, the Yokosos. And let's give this titan a green pollen orb, then we'll be covered on all fronts. Rexu, yatekita na. So Rex, you came down here. You brought it, right? Orega, ikido sa. So Rex can do it. Um, kuaren yo ki o tsukete na. So be careful not to get eaten when you give him the orb. <laughs> So don't intimidate me. Hold up. So take a look. There's the orb. Can't see it, but let's all imagine an orb there. On Japanese Quest, you need to have a good imagination. Because we're on this quest, we're all party members in the Japanese language, also in the game. Need an imagination. So right there, we need to also imagine that there's a green pollen orb. Uh, I don't have the green color right now, but... I can even draw it. It's a... Uh, imagine this is a green pollen orb. Or maybe... I don't know, I've never changed colors yet, but... Will they let me do green on this thing? Let's see. Mm. Is that green working? Kinda! It's got some transparency to it, but... This is a green pollen orb. And we're giving it to the Titan to eat. Tabete kudasai. Oishi yo. Yosh. So now imagine it's still there. So uh, I see a couple comments down there. So welcome, welcome. And then Okamijin says, Arigato. Um, 
so yeah, thanks for talking about that before. And then I imagine Rex trying to give it the orb and the Titan just devours Rex. And yeah, it'd be like game over. Ah, Ghostly Sparks 17. Yokoso, Japanese quest to it. Welcome, Ghostly Sparks. You came just for the right time. It's called the passing of the pollen orb. Yosh. Doka, oyoide, ichatomo. Ah, so I guess it's maybe happy now and swam off, and now we'll finally have our ship. Yokoso, welcome. Konnichiwa, Ghostly Sparks. Genki desu ka? What's up, Ghostly Sparks? Good to see you. Ghostly Sparks and Tokyo Ghoul. So do we just have like two like kind of ghost type creatures join our party? If so, sugoi. That's awesome. We like to have a well-rounded party. Earlier we had a kangaroo, kangaroo join our party. Uh, earlier today we had also an ape joined our party. Now we have two ghosts. We've got Roynus from Norway. We've got VZ blades. We've got our blade situation sorted out. Our party is getting stronger and stronger. Yosh. So let's see what Byako is saying here. Um, so yeah, I must have gone back to uh, Umon san, back to the the shipbuilder. Sojaro na. Um, arusu wa kashikoi kara. Yeah. Titans are very intelligent, so probably went back there. Konnichiwa. Yo. I named my Twitch because Tokyo Ghoul is my anime. Hmm. Very good. Yeah, I figured it was probably from the anime. What about Ghostly Sparks? What's the origin of your name? Is it also from an, from an anime, or are you just into ghosts, or are you into sparks? Or is it more the combination of ghosts and sparks? Ah, Great Ape Greg. I just mentioned you. <laughs> Sugoi, Great Great Ape Greg. Everyone, give a big... Uh, Japanese Quest, welcome to Great Ape Greg. Great Ape Greg is the reason this channel exists. Great Ape Greg is actually my brother and has been streaming on Twitch for a while. Uh, and without Great Ape Greg, I wouldn't really know about Twitch. <laughs> and I wouldn't have learned that this could be a pretty cool platform for maybe teaching some Japanese. Because I'm a Japanese teacher, but I don't really follow... I didn't follow Twitch. So everyone give the first big... Welcome to Great Ape Greg on Japanese Quest because we're all here. I'm here because of this ape that joined our party today. So Great Ape Greg is an ape that is in our party. Very high strength. Also high knowledge of Xenoblade. So Great Ape Greg will be a very valuable member of our party in terms of knowing how to climb up trees, knowing where to get to places in Xenoblade, and also for just kind of being one of the origins of this channel. I, I mentioned Great Ape Greg in my in the origin story of this channel on Twitch. So if anyone wants to see that, there's a link to Great Ape Greg's channel there too, if you want to check his videos out. He likes to stream Gwent, but more recently, I think today, Great Ape Greg, were you streaming some different games, like uh, Overwatch, I believe, and maybe another game? I'm not sure. Japanese Quest, I'm from Wellington, New Zealand. Ah, sugoi. Iresne, Wellington, New Zealand. I've never been to New Zealand, but I really want to go. Very, very cool. Ah, Mario Odyssey as well. We might play Odyssey here sometime too for a side quest. And yeah, if you ever want to stop by Great Ape Greg, Greg's channel, he knows some Japanese from anime, so you could ask him what Japanese Great Ape Greg knows. Again, he's my brother in real life, so uh, I've taught him a few Japanese words and he's picked up a lot from anime over the years. Uh, okay, so again, back to the story. So... Titans are smart, so probably went back to the shipbuilder's place. So we really have an international community. Yeah, we have people from Japan, people from New Zealand. Yesterday we had someone from Australia, people from the U.S. We've got Norway. Um, Roynus is from Norway. Uh, Igniel. Igniel, where are you from? Pretty, mi pretty minimal amount of Japanese. <laughs> yeah, but I know that you know some weird words like Sabaku no Gada, like Sabaku, desert from Naruto. Pretty sure that Great Ape Greg knows that word. Words like that. Yosh. So, Umon-san no tokoro e morodo. So let's return to where the uh, the no-pun shipbuilder Umon-san is. Yosh, ikimasho.
Ooh, so we got a long way to go. Let's see if we can't teleport back. Igneo, America. America no doko. <laughs> Exploding penguin, no no wonder you're so good at uh showing us around this game. Where are you from in in Alrest? Where are you from in this game? Are you from this continent or are you from the world tree? Is Great Ape Greg the super high level mob that killed you right before entering town? <laughs> Almost should I? Uh, I think he might be like a cousin of that guy. A similar species. More docile. Yosh. Almost should I? Mean not. I gotta say, I'm enjoying all the humor in chat. It's not something I necessarily expected, but. I feel like we've got a pretty solid international comedy vibe going. Yeah, Great Ape Greg, you're more of a friendly one of those. Yeah, we got killed earlier by some of those guys. Yosh. Um, so I think we need to go here. Ne? Yosh. Iko. Ah, so Igneal, you might be from Bionis also. So Igneal is from Bionis. Emperor King. Yokoso. Japanese quest away. Emperor King. Where is Emperor King from? Emperor King sounds like they might be from a game as well. Possibly. So now we have... Let's just go through all the party members we've had joined today. Real quick, I just I have to get my head around it. Just for a second. Um, so we had a kangaroo... And I can't really draw a kangaroo, but they've got a tail. So we had a kangaroo join. We had an ape join. That's my best ape with mouse. We had an emperor, so we've got a crown going on. We had an emperor join our party. So these are all the pe new pe people in our party just today. All these people are joining us on our quest. Even if you don't comment, you're kind of here in spirit. So we got an emperor. Emperor King is from Canada. Ah, すごい. Canada ですね. And we also had a ghost, I believe. And ghostly sparks. So there's sparks coming off. So ghostly sparks, and they're from New Zealand. So this is ghostly sparks. And then we also had Tokyo Ghoul, which I believe is another kind of ghost. So we've really got a much more diverse party, even in one day. Not sure I'd draw the Tokyo Ghoul. This is my best attempt. Yosh. So we've got this whole party. And we're going to go see if we can find our new ship for the next place. But you're very welcome, Emperor King. Everyone else who just joined. Yokoso. Japanese quest away. If you're just finding here now, what we try to do in-game is find treasures. But also, as we do that, we also look for treasures in the Japanese language. So we level up in-game. And we level up in Japanese. At least that's the humble goal of Japanese quests. So, Ishoni, level up, push You can see all our party members, and we have a lot more than that. And when we all work together, it seems to help the quest a lot because I get lost a lot. I need help, and we can help each other in Japanese too. We can help each other in the game. And earlier, we were helping each other with uh, porridge as well. We learned about porridge quite a bit. I'm not gonna get into that. It's complicated. Yosh. So you're all still here, don't worry, but we gotta read this. Migoto datamo. Looks like the ship is back. Buji murote kite kuretamo. So, came back safely. Awesome. Yatta. Um, Midori no kafundamo. Um, Taiyo ni tabesasete agetashi. You gave him all the pollen orbs, the green pollen orbs. Mite no tori. Um, Sentai no toritsuke mo kanryo shite kara. So at any time, we can now depart. I see a comment from uh, Blade down there. And Penguin. Not really a ghost, more of a zombie with superpowers. So does name. And so yeah, welcome zombie with superpowers. That's good too. Uh, the treasure being the memories in Japanese we learned along the journey. Very true, VZ Blade. We can be sentimental at times. It's okay. Um, it's not complicated. <laughs> Talking about the porridge again. Yeah. So now we can leave at any time. Yatta. 
私からもお礼を言わせていただきます。So I will thank you too. That's what Byako said, our fearless cat blade.、Um, Dromark was in English, but Byako in Japanese. 礼にはお呼ばないも。So I can't even thank you. 出発の準備ができたら、部門に声をかけるといい。So when you're ready to leave, just tell me. I'm from Osaka, Japan. あ、すごい。オサカ出身。すごいですね。Yeah, I went to Osaka last summer. Very, very cool city. I recommend anyone goes if they ever have a chance. Awesome shopping.、Um, a lot of cool places. I need to go there more, actually.、Uh, so, Exploding Penguin says only two. Mithra would have given you three. <laughs> True. I think you're talking about porridge. Not sure. By the way, if anyone doesn't know, all the W's that they're writing down there. That's kind of how in Japanese you'd laugh in a form like this. It means warao, which is the verb for to laugh or to smile. So when you write www, like a lot of W's, it just means like lol in Japanese, basically. Then Penguin says, Why do you keep naming random blades?、Uh... <laughs> well, kind of nice. Yosh. Main story quest. Kansei shimasta. Complete. Who's Mithra? Yeah, no spoilers. We're not that far yet. Anyway, Mithra, we're playing the Japanese game, so it's Hikari. It's not Mithra. Dare, dare, yeah, who? Yatta. Okay, what do you guys think? Are we ready to go? So, another thing we do on Japanese Quest is all the party members can weigh in before we do an important kind of game decision. So, if I get a second, we can. Press A, Hanasu, and we can go to the next the next Titan on our journey. Iku? Matsu? Dochi? Shall we go? Shall we wait? What do you think? Because we've been here a long time. I'll miss this place. Kire desu ne. Maybe the most beautiful of all the Titans. Osaka is like the second largest city in Japan. Totemo oki desu ne. Yeah, very, very big. Awesome city. Uraya hype. I will take that to mean we should go to the next continent. Uraya. Ikimashou.、Um, Sai shinze ni shite. Sai ko kesaku no fune wa sire ni deki yagatte ru. So,、um, already finished my latest masterpiece, this ship. So, at any moment, we can go. So, we have to make the choice. Mada, shupatsu shinai, meaning let's not go yet. Or, shupatsu suru. I see VZ Blade says, Iku, Iku. Go, go. I agree. Iku, Ikimashou. Uraya, Ikimashou. Kiyo tsukete, itte kurumo, tora, tasha demo. So, saying, Kiyo tsukete means be careful. Go and come back later. Be safe. Iko! Yeah, I feel like Luffy in One Piece. Ikuzo! Let's go. So, s o r e j a So, thanks so much for、uh, lending us the boat. So, Funatabi. So, now we're just. Before we talked about this word here, Tabi. It means like a, a journey or a trip. So we're all kind of on a tabi together. I showed you before the book Tabi no Nakama. That's the book of Lord of the Rings.、Uh, and right now, so we're on this tabi. We're Tabi no Nakama, kind of comrades on a journey. But now we're going on a Funatabi. So a journey on a boat for the first time in a while. So. He's saying, enjoy your trip on a boat. I don't think he knows what we're doing, but it might be kind of dangerous. Ikimashou. Timo! Shuko! Meaning, let's shove off. Ikimashou. I'll try really hard not to press A and skip this like I have in the past. 
I want to see this. Mitai. Mitai. World Tree. This is the World Tree. Ah. So this close is the first time I've seen it this close. So, Sasuke ni sigoi. It's amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen it this close. And I agree with what you're saying, Blade. Rakuene. Let's go. Let's go to Elysium. Let's go to Rakuen. Let's go to the World Tree. Ishoni. Together. So, yeah, it's a crazy waterfall. If you fell, it doesn't look like you could save, be saved from that. Um, so it's good we came here, but how do we get around that massive cloud waterfall? Thank you very much, Empire King. I enjoy you as a party member as well. No, Rex, going there. You can't go there. So run away? What are you talking about? All of a sudden. Ikinari, all of a sudden. Eh, kawaii. Nigeru mo. Ah, Sapento. Interesting how that's in katakana. So serpent, but just in katakana. Sapento. Fast! Wakata, understood. Interesting. So she's saying here, stop, serpent, as if she can talk to it. So she says, Watashi no koi. So my voice. Kikoi nai no. You can't hear my voice? No meaning. That can be used for a question, seeking an explanation. Like, so usually it can hear her voice, I guess, but not now. Interesting. Uh, I see a comment. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's just called a serpent in Japanese. Yeah, I kind of agree. But often you'll see that in games like this, too. A couple more comments. But my Chapter 3 video, Game 2 Elysium, no. <laughs> and so serpent is the same in English and Japanese. Yeah, it's interesting. They just put it in katakana. So it's just pronounced sapento versus serpent. Masaka, what? Like, is it possible? <laughs> nice exploding penguin. So what's going on? Why did he suddenly go over there? Eh? Nani? Oki? Yeah. Just looking at the comments, yeah, the clouds do have very weird physics, but I don't know, maybe they could run under there somehow. Um, yeah, bye. So, what's happening? Uh oh, I forgot about this. Cool, it? So, it looks like he's saying we're gonna be eaten.
By the way, in case you weren't sure about the Japanese for that, that is the sound of freaking out in Japanese. <laughs> and itai means to be hurt, so itetetete means, oh, that hurts. Eh. Doko? Uh, so I see some comments down there. Do we just follow the Titan's feet? I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then Blade says, I think we should do a count of people who come into the stream without much knowledge of the game so we can be more spoiler sensitive. So to say. Yeah, a lot of people coming in probably might be coming for Japanese too. Um, so let's be careful with the spoilers. Kiyotsukete. Homura! Mina! Koko desu! So Mina, everyone, where are you? Koko desu, this place. Daijoubu. Daijoubu, are you okay? Yeah. So Daijoubu, I think it's still a word we haven't learned yet. So maybe that word we can add to our power level in a minute. Because I think once this scene is over, uh, we can add some maybe three words to our power level, and I think the stream might end there today. We'll start up again tomorrow at 8. But let's see this scene. Let's increase our power level. Any other words you're thinking of, let's start thinking about those. We can add to our power level. Because each word we learn, we can level up. And daijobu, that word right there, means I feel, I'm feel i feeling... I'm okay. We can maybe add that one to our power level. And uh, Japanese Quest says, Do you ever watch Space Yamato? I think only a very tiny bit. Would you recommend it? Maybe you could give a short... Synopsis, people can check it out, maybe. So, Mina Buji. So, everyone, everyone's safe, it looks like. <laughs> so, Shikashi. So, but, once again, we got eaten or drank by some crazy thing. Koko, so Koko, this place, doko. So what is this place? Koko, doko damo. Hmm, so the last kanji you see there, naibu, means inside. So we're inside this titan called Inbari, Inbidia, Inbidia. Shikashi. Yeah, you see that one too. It can kind of mean and sometimes too. So Xenoblade 1, I also played it. Very, very good game, by the way, if anyone wants to check it out. But I've never played it in Japanese. And so I really hope it comes out on the Switch, actually, so we can maybe play it here. I would love to play that game too. It's a great, great game. This game, also very good. Miro. <laughs> Hmm, so this is kind of a creepy place. So will we also become like that? Like maybe they're just like skeletons here? Good thing we have some ghosts of our own to keep us company. Ah, oh, Samurai Warlock. We now have a Samurai Warlock. On Japanese quest we got a ghost we got a Tokyo ghoul now we have not just a samurai not just a warlock we have a samurai warlock possibly 44 of them so yokoso Japanese quest away welcome to Japanese quest samurai warlock and anyone else watching if you want to join feel free you can join our party too um, even if you're not some kind of weird class like a samurai warlock or a great ape or a kangaroo or a ghost feel free to join everyone's welcome you can become a party member and add to our power level. We can all level up together in Japanese and in the game here too. So Yokoso, welcome to Japanese Quest. Uh, so yeah, what is Byako saying here? Minasan, deguchi wo shikashimasen ka? Sagashimasen ka? So should we look for the entrance? Yeah, we probably should. So I see a couple comments. Generally, Americans are the world's meme creators. So I don't know about that. I think the world, the internet itself is a meme factory. But Americans, we do our job too. But I know China is pretty intense at memes. Um, Japan, too. Yosh. Ah, konnichiwa, Samurai Warlock-san. Genki desu ka? What's up, Samurai Warlock? Always good to have another Samurai slash Warlock join the crew. 
it's good to have a very diverse party. Now we have samurai issues as well as magical warlock issues covered. So here, what is Byako saying? Nvidia no machi wa senaka no ho ni aru to kikimashita, kikimasu. So he heard, Byako heard, so we also have a tiger. We got a samurai warlock, we got a tiger, we got some ghosts, we got a kangaroo, and we got this uh, white tiger. And the white tiger, Byako is his name. And he's saying, I heard the city in Bidia is on the back, the back of this titan that we're inside right now. So we need to somehow find out how to get there. And I see a comment too. Um, I guess I haven't seen them. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's hard to see memes outside of your own culture, but part of Japanese Quest, we want to use not just games to learn Japanese, but we can also learn Japanese from, from memes. The power of memes can also help you to learn. And uh, it helps to expand your meme horizon as well as your language horizon to learn about not just language, but culture as well, internet culture. <laughs> So if we can just get out there, we can find the city. Let's quick get out of here. Hayaku deyo. Asoko. Asoko, meaning up there. How are you? Genki desu yo. I'm very good. I'm very good. Yes, if we combine all of our meme power, maybe, just maybe, something will happen. Kana. <laughs> meme power, so this is Yeah, I really like where we are right now. We're inside this Titan, so there's all this kind of like a luminescent um different stuff going on. Totemo kire. So it says Ima Nanika Hikari Mashtamo Darika Idesmo. So someone must be around somewhere because something was something was glowing. Mimu no chikara. Yes, the power of memes. We will show it. Masaka, uh, no So really, there's like someone out there. Did you miss see something? So mi machigai janai. So you let's break that down a little bit. So mi again means to see. We've seen this kanji earlier in our journey. So mi machigai. So this is putting two words together, me to see, and then machigai, mistake. So when you put them together, it means to miss see something. So me machigai janai desu mo. Fuo fuo to ugoite mo. So she's saying it was not janai. It was not missing something. There's something in there. Something fluffy was moving. So go it. Yeah, it's a very good Titan. I agree, being inside a Titan. Very cool. I also like Samurai History, Samurai Warlock, by the way. Samurai ga daisuki. Hitodama. So it's like a. He's saying, like, could it be like a ghost or something? Don't say that. Kawaii, that's a good word. Kawaii no ka. So are you scared? What? I told you you're stupid. Like, what are you, a kid? Yappa kawaii da. Yappa, yappa. So as expected, yappa ri, yappa kawaii da. As expected, you're scared. You're scared of ghosts. So ka. Nia wa hito dama ga kawaii no ka. Fussai na. Te. Ore? So, Nia said, Urusai, meaning shut up, don't make fun of me, I'm not scared, even though she secretly is. And then she's asking about Homura, where is Homura? And I agree with everything you're saying about the Titan, is this a very cool Titan? Completely agree. Homura? Doko? Homura? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like even Homura, even after sleeping for 500 years, she's got a sense of humor. Scaring Rex like this. Quit it. <laughs> I just went and confirmed everything over there. Omoshiroi. <laughs> 
したんです<笑><笑>なんだよいや別に別に it's nothing but really like let's admit it Rex was scared quite Damn it. Kirei da ne. So it became very bright. And Hana, I can help too. Ah, すごい Ben Lee ですね So they got some very useful skills. But when it comes to my byakko, my blade, not quite as convenient, maybe. Oh, omniscient, welcome. Konnichiwa. Good to see you again. <laughs> byakko is sad that he doesn't have like a, a light, like a headlight coming out of his head like our other titans, or our other blades, rather. So let's look for the exit. So Igneo says, and things like that Pyra can do. Why fire is such an amazing element. Very true. Very convenient. Ah, I'm from Nagoya, Japan. Ah, sugoi. Nagoya, ita koto nai. I've not been to Nagoya. Really want to go. What is Nagoya known for? If anyone here wants to visit Nagoya, what should we know about Nagoya? I'm curious. I did just draw Nagoya on a map the other day. Let me show you this map I made a couple days ago. We can see where Nagoya is. So I drew this map of Xenoblade. Or no, just a map of Japan. So this is video game Japan, but I also drew one of Japan. Uh, and here you can see Nagoya. So this is where Samurai Warlock is from, I believe, Nagoya. Uh, so what is Nagoya famous for? We also had someone from Osaka before. So somewhat near to Nagoya. You could just take the Shinkansen, the bullet train, from Nagoya to Osaka and back. Probably wouldn't take that long, actually. When I was in Japan, I lived about here. A small town in Yamaguchi Prefecture. It's called Onoda. Onoda. And when I just traveled in Japan just recently, I went to Sapporo in Hokkaido. And that was really cool. Also to Hakodate, the city here, and Aomori. So I kind of took this whole trip up here to Hokkaido for the first time, which I very much recommend if anyone has the chance. Some awesome hiking up there. I'm going to go back to the other cam. Let's see, that's not right. What does the scouter say about his power level? Our power level is 107, Napa. Thanks for asking. Let's see if we can erase that again. Let's check chat real quick. Uh, from Nagoya, what does Gramps use for I? He often says washi for I, and fire is the best element. Yeah, washi, omniscient, I believe, I agree. And then Tokyo Ghoul is from Osaka. So yep, Osaka is on there too. Uh, people told me, said why, but he just uses that. Yeah, it's kind of a more of an end sentence thing. Um, so what's team that character? Is team that character a person you're not mentioning for a reason? Team that character. I'm not sure what the context is there. I need some Japanese lesson. Yeah, Japanese, it's tough, but even if it's a little overwhelming, if anyone's watching, I recommend even if just a little bit, just you look down here, maybe learn some words for like counting. The goal is even if just a little bit, Increasing your power level in Japanese, how many words you know. Thought this could be a fun way to do it through video games. So like counting here, ichi, ni, san, shi, go. These are all the words we've kind of learned so far. So just to get started, it can be good to get your confidence up to just even learn one or two words. And then learning hiragana or katakana can help a lot, learning the alphabet. Then you can start to read a little bit. Let's continue there, here. Sugoi. NVIDIA RESOKOKU Very cool AGITO NO HYORYUCHI So this is where we just washed up 
Saishu we can collect here. Let's get some new fish. I bet they got their own special fish. Ooh, I never swam back here. What's back here? Takaragaru kana. Maybe there's a treasure. Yeah, and the other thing that the party members can do is suggest and give tips for learning Japanese and suggestions of resources, links to resources, things like that. Omniscient says you should learn some basic grammar patterns and nouns, verbs. Very true. Also on the Twitch channel at the bottom, you can see some resources at the bottom that I recommend and have used. Uh, so we have Fat Boy on Crack joined our party. We've got a new powerful party member, Fat Boy on Crack. Yokoso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Uh, this is the first Fat Boy on Crack that we have that's joined our party. So I think that will add a lot to our party diversity and power level. So thank you very much for joining. Welcome. Uh, and a couple more comments. So Samurai Warlock says, I live in Nagoya now, but originally from Kyoto. Oh, Kyoto. I love Kyoto. I lived there for a month on a homestay one time. Really love Kyoto. Kire desu ne. Very beautiful. And Sapporo. It is famous for beer, but it's also just a famous city in Japan. Yosh. Those of you just joined... Welcome. The stream won't be going that much longer, so you'll kind of get to see what we do at the end of streams. Yeah, I bet Nintendo is one of them, VZ Blade. I know that Nintendo is based in Kyoto. I'm thinking that we'll save it for now, and we will power up. Our power level, you can see at the bottom, is 107 right now. Each word we learn in Japanese, that power level goes up as a party, as a group. So let's make that power level go up. Let's make sure that I save it. Don't want to have the game crash or something. Yosh. So right now is the time. Any words we've learned today? Let's think of them. Let's think of at least three so our power level can get to 110. And what words have we learned today? In this party. So on this quest, we've had a lot of new party members. Any words you remember that we've looked at? I can think of maybe a couple, but it's always fun if we can kind of like together. This is like the shared power level. This is the shared vocab. For Japanese quest. Let's go to the power level up screen. You can see uh, Kakarot there, Goku. He's powering up. What is he looking at? Water? Let's have, let's change that. Daijobu, I think is a good one. So let's change that. Daijobu is a good word. It means like Daijobu, are you okay? Or like Daijobu, yes I'm okay. We saw it a lot today. Daijobu. So, Goku is looking at actually a full sentence of how you might use Daijobu. My predictive type put that in. So, Daijobu desu means I'm fine. So, Goku right now, he's studying it. He's looking deeply. He's doing one-arm push-ups, leveling up as he learns Daijobu. So, Daijobu. Thankfully, the crash bugs seem to be fixed in recent patches. Height. So, yeah, height is a word we already learned, but that's also a very good word. Um, nande. Yeah, it could be a good one for what reason. We already do have nani. So that's a similar form of that, but we could think about that one. That's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's first add Daijobu. So let's look at Jisho here. This is a dictionary I recommend. Um, Daijobu. So you can do that. Press spacebar, turns into kanji, Daijobu. And then we see that. I can turn on the Rikai tool. And then if I highlight it, it shows us the meaning. I can press C. Whoops. Press C, clip it, and then add it to our power level. This is our list. These are all the words we've learned so far. We're up to 107, but our power level is still going up. So let's go up higher. Daijobu. We're now up to 108 in power level. Tsuyokunatta. So we got stronger. Koko, soko, asoko, kokudoko. Yeah, Blade, that's actually probably a really good idea. We've been seeing a lot of location words today. And koko, soko, asoko, doko means here, there, and then like asoko is like there, over there, and then doko just means where. I think that's a great suggestion, and we've seen a lot of that today, so why don't we do that? Koko, soko, asoko, doko. Very good suggestion. And they're also all basic words that are good to know. Koko meaning here. Let's see if we can find that. See, there's a lot of different kokos. We want this one. I'll probably change it to just Kana, 
because I don't know if we need that kanji. It's a little rare. It's usually just kana. Um, in the game, it's just hiragana. But let's add it anyway. You can add it like that for now. Let's add so cool. So you have Koko Soko there, a place relatively close to the listener. Let's clip it. And let's add it to our power level. We're getting stronger. Can you feel it? Quick levels, exactly. And uh, Asoko. Yeah, sometimes you find words that are related and you power up all at once. That's how power level works sometimes. Sometimes you just get stronger. Asoko over there. So there, physical place, kind of distant. Uh, did Akko, what? That's not right. That's not right. Let's do Asoko. Sometimes you need to like fix this weird plugin. It does weird stuff. Let's do Asoko instead. Uh-oh, got messed up. I'm going to undo and undo, and I would think it's correct now. Okay, good. And Chikaro Kanjiteru yo. Yeah, I also feel the power. Um, I know Transformers was made in Japan first before they gave it to the USA. Tadaima, boku wa karimashita. You're just in time. We're just powering up now. Uh, we just added the words. Let's look at the list. We added daijobu, meaning I'm okay or I'm safe. Koko, here. Soko, there. Asoko over there. And remember today we learned koko de means like talking about this place and what's happening at this place. You can use the de particle to say koko de something, something, something. Something's happening here. Um, you know what else was in Japan before the US? A whole lot of stuff. So does, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. And let's check. Uh, we also wanted doko, which means where. So let's put in doko. Let's copy it, add to our power level. It's even getting higher than I thought it would. So we're up to 112 with power level. Maybe let's add three more if we have them. I heard Nande before, I think from Exploding Penguin maybe. Um, let's see if that's a word that's in here. Nande, because that is a good word. Nande, why, for what reason? Yeah, I think since we have Doku, we could do a couple more question words. Nande, why, for what reason? Let's do it. Good suggestion. It's quite common. See, this one does say N3 word, so it's a little higher level. Jap JLPT N3, N5 is the lowest. But still, we see it all the time in the game and it's pretty common. So let's add it. Let's do two more question words, how about? Tokuro works within the location pattern or place. Um, monaro no chikara. Yeah, you can feel the power of the monaro. Um, what other question words? We had dare. So let's do dare for who. That's a good question word. The kanji is a little tricky, but it is an N5 word as you can see, so it's a good one to learn. So let's add dare for a question word. Whoops, I messed up there. I don't think I clipped it properly. Let's do an undo. And yeah, I see a panda up here that's watching. So like pandas can join. You can look at this list, it's all linked. Um, it's all linked on the Twitch channel. If anyone wants to join, you can check it out too. So let's add Dare again. Good. One more question word. Dochi. So yeah, which? We did see Dochi. Let's see Dochi. Let's see if we see Dochi on here. It might not be the most next most common one, but Dochi. It's like which way or which one. Yeah, I think since we saw it, why don't we just do it? Even though it's similar to Dochira, which is an N5 word, but Dochi is very common too. I think it's worth adding. Uh, I think the cool thing about this list is it's a one-of-a-kind list in all the world. There's no other list that's being built on a quest like Japanese Quest is, like being built by a party of Nakama like this. So if our list is a little unique, maybe like we learn words in kind of a strange order, that's okay, because it's unique, just like this party is. I mean, we've got like samurais and warlocks and kangaroos and apes and ghosts 
it's okay if we learn things in an interesting order. It should be based on the game. So let's clip it and let's add that dochi. Okay, I'm noticing a pr one problem I'll change later. For some reason, ta, it should be dare for who, but it just says ta. I'll change it later. Sometimes it can be funky with putting those in, but it's another way you can say who. Okay, so I see the comments again. I was close. Arigato okami. Uh, I'm chilling and watching TV. Samurai Warlock. Very cool. Yeah, what would be really cool to me with Japanese quests is people could be like studying, watching TV, watching movies. And then maybe watching this too. You can look at the bottom of the screen, maybe learn some new words. Watching TV, studying. At the same time, your power level can go up. Yosh, let's. Speaking of power level, it's about to go up. Get ready. Let's turn up the heat! Let's see what Nappa has to say about it. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It is now over 110, not quite over 9,000, but it's getting much higher than it was before. Tsuyokunatta. We became a lot stronger today. Our power level is now at 115. The new words we learned today will be on the stream tomorrow at the bottom of the screen. You can see that at the bottom right there. That's our power level. Right here. And all these words here will be updated tomorrow, so our new power level the words we just learned. These are the words we learned yesterday. Deguchi, minna, ishoni. We learned on Japanese quests yesterday. Tomorrow, we'll have new words. So anyone who wants to join tomorrow at 8 central time, you can join the quest if you want to follow. You can be a Nakama too. You can join our party and we can teach each other Japanese. We can teach each other this game. We can level up both in the game and in real life. And uh, I see a couple more comments. Whoa, yeah, rents, you know what's going on. We powered up. That's just like the power of like powering up just a whole bunch of O's. Oh, I've only played them on the original DS. Has the remake been released on Okami? That's such a good game. Minasan, uh, And uh, Igneel says, Okami Den. So Samurai Warlock says, it's 1.50 p.m. here in Nagoya, Japan. Ah, so Yeah, here it's uh, about 11, p 11 p.m. So it's a bit late where I am. And so I think we'll end it here. But welcome everyone, and thanks everyone for joining. And again, tomorrow, if you want to join, we'll be starting at 8 central time. In Japan time, I believe that is uh, 11 o'clock, possibly. Because I think it's 15 hours ahead. Uh, anyway... みんなお疲れ様でした。みんな楽しかった。じゃ。また明日。See you guys tomorrow. We got a new a lot of new great party members today. Probably the most colorful group of new party members. An ape, a kangaroo, a ghost, a warlock samurai. The list goes on. And we also level level up in Japanese in game and with porridge. Hi. Ja. So I'm really gonna sign off. Mina, ja, matane. Bye bye. True, true. We still need dragons. Don't worry, there will be dragons. Steki desu ne. Otakara kaishu! Yatta! Mugiwara. He has a big straw hat. Now we're unstoppable. Ja. 
またね。